Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is server edition of our LZH Project and part 3 of Nginx. Uh, in our today's video, we will configure Varnish uh, with Nginx web server. If you remember from our previous discussion, we talked about Varnish. So, what is Varnish? Uh, Varnish is a reverse uh, proxy caching system or you can say it's a hot uh, HTTP accelerator. So what happens uh, whenever somebody tries to access our web server, if you are hosting a website and we own a web server, so whenever a request comes in, first of all it comes across Varnish. Varnish uh, checks the request and then serves that request from the cache. So that's how we will configure Varnish. We have to configure Varnish with uh, Nginx so in order to do that we have to mention the required uh, port in Varnish and Nginx as well so that first request will come to Varnish and then it will go to Nginx so let's start so to install Varnish what, uh, first we need to install this repository uh, I have already installed it so I can just show you the link it's uh, http dl.fedoraproject.org slash pub slash epel slash 7 because I'm using CentOS 7 uh, slash x86 64 because it's a 64-bit platform slash epel e dash epel release uh, 7-5 dot no arch dot rpm press enter and you can see that it's already installed uh, for me and then I will use yum hyphen y update as always. Oh, I forgot the e. Okay. Then I'm just going to install varnish with yum hyphen y install varnish. Press enter. Okay, it's going to take some time, so around 62 megabytes, so let me pause the video. Okay, installation is completed and now we will go to our Varnish configuration file. Uh, to use that, I'm using vim slash etc varnish. This is the main directory of Varnish in etc and varnish dot params it's like what parameters we will use for varnish press enter no i don't have vim so i'll just use vi okay and all we need to do is this listen address we need to change this i'm just going to uncomment this and change it to my web server's IP address so it's 1.3 the port I want it to be 80 because it's going to be listening on what our web server used to listen and in Nginx we will change this port 80 to uh, 8080 so that's it we don't need other configuration to change anything else okay save and exit and now we will go to um, one more file it's varnish uh, default dot vcl and we need to make sure that this line is uncommented dot host it's going to be local host and this port is 8080 so that's pretty much it okay 
So now let's go to our uh, let's restart Varnish if it can start. But first we need to change engine X. Uh, so let me stop engine X first. System CTL stop engine X. V I E T C engine X engine X dot conf and I'm going to change the port to 8080 here okay that's it uh, let me start varnish system ct n Okay, to check and varnish is running. Now we will start Nginx. If everything goes good, it should not give us any error. And that's good. So let's check if Nginx is also running. Okay, it's working fine. And SS, let me clear the screen first. SS hyphen A and TLUP grep AT asterisk and it will reveal that varnished is running and Nginx is running. Perfect. So how we can make sure that var varnish is running? We can use varnish stat and it's giving us stats. And now let's go to our Slack where uh, like our client machine and try to run uh, our website okay okay so HTTP 192.168.1.3 and I'm not typing any port so it, it will work automatically so there we have it it's working fine because we have if you remember from our previous video we uh, disabled uh, the, the this IP address with ACL but public should work so perfect it's working fine so that's how we configure varnish with nginx okay so we already uh, saw this command uh, varnish stat there are some other commands let me clear the screen varnish you just type varnish and then the tab key and it will give you command sets so varnish top will give you the processes uh, then varnish log will give you the logs that's not working like logs because I don't have any hits right now only one hit to check that uh, it's history so uh, these are the command sets for varnish but the most uh, useful command is varnish stat so that's pretty much it and thank you very much for watching please do subscribe to my youtube channel and please uh, send me feedback you can send me an email if you want to see some tutorials of your liking please uh, let me know so I can look into it thank you very much for watching and have a good one